What's up guys and welcome back to the Bartender Hideout Here today for episode number 27 um, I hope you haven't been missing out on the Sunday videos They will be coming back for sure um, But I'm currently on a holiday so you guys have to deal with that for a little bit But as I said back to business um, we are here for the cocktail countdown. We're at episode number 27 and that is gonna be the rum old fashioned. Um, yeah, as you guys know, we're looking at the uh, top 50 most popular drinks according to Drinks International uh, back in 2020 already. Um, if you wanna check out the list, make sure to check out the description because it's right there. Um, yeah, and as you guys know, we're gonna throw it over to Uncle Bob in a little bit to uh, give out the history of this uh, magnificent drink. Afterwards, I'll be showing you how to make it and also be tasting it, which is obviously a horrible job. Um, but first, let's have a look and see what Uncle Bob has to say for us. Welcome back to Storytime with Uncle Bob. But today we're going to be talking about the rum old fashioned. Beautiful. Almost as old as I am. So, the original Old Fashioned, for whoever hasn't seen that episode, I don't blame you. I mean, I wasn't there yet, star of the show. The original Old Fashioned was from around 1806, or at least they believe so. Um, it wasn't officially called an Old Fashioned, it was called a cocktail. Um, but it hell seemed like an Old Fashioned. It called for spirits, it called for bitters, and it called for sugar, but also water. Which turns out to be the exact ingredients for an old fashioned. That being said, it never asked for specifically whiskey. So does that make the rum old fashioned just as original as the whiskey old fashioned? Who knows? One thing though, due to multiple reasons, who, which could be political, social, whatever, the rum kind of fell out of favor in America, or at least for the working class. It became more of a naval drink, I guess. Um, and whiskey became the spirit of choice, especially for the old fashioned. And that stayed like this for whew, decades, maybe even, uh, maybe even hundreds of years. and. Nowadays, there's more people trying to go back to the history, go back to the olden days and try new stuff. And that is where this rum old fashioned got figured out, as you might say. The one thing that is important though when we're making a rum old fashioned is that we want a rum with a little bit of a body. That not one of those rums that get lost easily within a drink. We want good old rum fashions. That begs the question though, which rum is Kun gonna use? Let's have a look. Hi there. Welcome back from, uh, from Uncle Bob. Um, we are ready to start off with our rum old fashioned, at least I am. I mean, I hope you guys are as well. Um, let me tell you how to make this one. Obviously, as you can see, I have my uh, mixing glass ready here. So we'll get started with mixing our drink. So let's grab our glass, put that to the side for now. And as you guys, as you guys might have seen in uh, the old fashioned video, I always like to use a napkin and then grab my first ingredient. Uh, which is going to be the sugar cube and we'll put that on top of the napkin and then I'll grab my second ingredient which is going to be the Angostura bitters so we just want to soak our sugar cube to make sure that it's really taking on the flavors of these bitters um, but also doesn't really overpower the, the flavors so we have some bitters in here and some bitters in the sugar cube obviously um, and then we are ready to get to the star of the show for today, which is going to be uh, Diplomatico Rum. Um, personally, if I make a rum old fashioned, I want it with this rum. Um, I think it just or goes really well with this. 
Um, you can obviously take one that, that you have uh, laying around like a nicer spice. If you've been checking out any of our other videos, uh, you might have seen the uh, old fashioned three ways. There I have the rum uh, old fashioned with a plantation rum. Also works perfectly fine. So it is whatever, whatever you have laying about as I say so often. But we have the Diplomatico here, so I'm gonna use the Diplomatico. So as you guys might have known from the old fashioned video, we're gonna be using two ounces or 60 milliliters of our rum. And that's it, don't need more. So we are gonna be muddling our sugar cube to make sure that it blends in nicely when we start stirring. That's the main, that's the main bit about it actually. So just a quick model, that cube is nice and dissolved already or for a big part at least. And then we can add our ice to the mixing glass. There we go. Only thing we need is a bar spoon and we'll just get stirring. As you guys might know, or as you don't know, uh, we are obviously stirring since uh, we want to dilute the drink a little bit so it takes off the edge of the of the spirit basically. Obviously want to cool the drink as well. Um, that is actually also one of the main things, of course. And then let's have a quick taste in the meantime. Yep, just needs to go a little bit longer and then we should be ready to taste this one. There we go. Obviously as well, the dilution is a little bit up to yourself. Do you like it uh, more with that little extra rum in there or you want it a bit more watered down? Um, then have a decide on yourself. Make sure to taste in between. There we go and check out what you want to try yourself or how you like your rum old fashioned. Let's whoop, add this to our glass. Look at that, how beautiful is that? And then I just need one more ingredient and that is our orange because we want to be using an orange peel just like with our normal old fashioned so we peel that off and just give it a nice straight cut and then express the oils over the top and give it a nice little twist so it looks nice. And there we go guys, that's our rum old fashioned. So let's give it a try, see what we made of it. Yeah, um, I mean, you can really feel like, uh, especially if I compare this one to the plantation rum that we uh, we made the, the other video with, that the quality of the rum, or obviously the rum in itself, it's gonna make the biggest difference. So it's gonna depend on which rum you're, you're using, uh, but with this Diplomatico, uh, I mean, the, the flavors just balance out really nicely. You have a little bit of that um, uh, sugar that's coming through, but not too much, and a little bit of the uh, extract from the um, uh, from the orange. So that all compared to each other, like it just works very well. Um, and I know this uh, rum old fashioned actually jumped up ten places from the last time they made this list. Um, so I mean. The fact that the rum or the whiskey old fashioned is on spot number one, um, I'd say this one deserves to be uh, maybe just as high, um, even though it doesn't have as much legacy as the whiskey old fashioned maybe does. Um, but yeah, I think that's all you're gonna get from me for this week, guys. Um, make sure to like and subscribe if you uh, enjoy what we're doing. And also make sure to comment if you try this yourself and what is your favorite rum to use in, uh, in this uh, rum old fashioned for sure. Um, besides from that, I'll be back next week for yet another episode of the Cocktail Countdown. And I guess I'll see you there. Ciao.